Well, West Lafayette Compound Pharmacy owner says regulation and reimbursement challenges are making it difficult for his business to stay afloat. Custom Plus Pharmacy owner Ben Rockwall is hoping Congress will relax some of the Food and Drug Administration rules. U.S. Representative Todd Rokita says he may be able to help. Commercially available medicine doesn't do the trick for everybody. That's why places like Custom Plus Pharmacy are in business. But owner Ben Rockwall says the FDA is trying to change that. Big Pharma doesn't want us competing with them because frankly I can make it better and I can make it cheaper. Compounding allows pharmacists to get creative, cater to the individual needs of a patient. We make um, chapsticks, we make nail polish, we make suspensions and transdermal creams and orally disintegrating dose forms. Rockwell says compounding could be a solution to the opioid epidemic. Let's just say you have uh, an acute pain situation and you don't want to take a strong opiate pain medication. I can give you something to target your pain uh, without side effects that's not going to push you toward that opiate problem. That struck a chord with Congressman Todd Rokita. You have me uh, as a champion uh, for making sure that you're treated fairly and equally uh, by the FDA relative to other pharmacies. Rockwell is hoping he can count on that promise. He says his two biggest challenges are regulation and reimbursement. The FDA is at this time not allowing us to produce compounds for in-office use. So they want it to be one prescription, one patient, one doctor. Well, the dentist will buy a bulk bottle and use it for all his patients. So I could put a rider like that in maybe next year. Congressman Rokita says house. he will continue researching the topic to find ways to help. Rockwell hopes that's not just a political idiom. My hopes are that uh, they see that we're reasonable operators and we, we are doing good, we are doing right, and that they uh, move pharmacy governance and regulation from the FDA back to the State Board of Pharmacy where it belongs. Rockwell wasn't the only compound pharmacist asking for Rokita's help. The owners of Custom Med in Brownsburg and Herbst Pharmacy in Kokomo attended the meeting as well.